our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow, free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Good morning, sir. Are you Mr. Wong, the personnel manager? Good morning. Yes, I am. But I'm sorry, I don't think I know you. No, you don't. My name is Lou Lily. I got the information from the TV that your department wants to hire a clerk who will work under you. I would like to apply for the job. Oh, yes. We do have such a commercial. Sit down, please, Miss Lou. I'm glad to see you. Could you tell me about yourself first? Okay, I'm 24 this year. I earned my college diploma from the Knight College of Foreign Languages Institute in 2010. My major is English. Recently I've also earned my degree in secretarial technology. Could you tell me about your work experience? Of course. I've been working as an office clerk in the textile company since my graduation. I do a lot of things, such as typing, handling the daily correspondence, arranging meetings and so on. Do you enjoy your work? To be frank, not very much, because I can't use much what I've learned in my work. I enjoy doing more challenging work. Well, according to your experience, Perhaps you could tell me what essential qualities a personnel department office clerk should maintain. Of course. First of all, she must have a strong sense of responsibility. Good. Go on, please. She must be an honest person. Anything else? She must also be diligent and do a lot of things on her own initiative. Good. The work includes keeping the files. Have you got any practical experience with that? Well, no, but I took related courses. I can gain experience quickly. I'm sure I can do the job well. I just received a phone call for an interview next week. Congratulations. This is your first interview ever. Thank you, but I'm nervous. I don't know what to do. Could you tell me what should I do before an interview? Sure. You should prepare so that you can give proper response when you're being interviewed. Yeah. Besides my personal introduction, what else should I prepare? You should collect as much information about the company and the position you're applying for as you can. It is important to show that you've done some research into the company. The interviewers will. Then what should I do when I'm being interviewed? Smile at the interviewers and look them in their eyes while trying to persuade them to select you. Try to act natural. Let your personality, ability and interpersonal skills shine through the interview. Are there any other things I should pay attention to? Yeah. Wear formal clothes to your interview and do be punctual. That'll leave your interviewers with a good first impression. Come in, please. Good afternoon, Mrs. Smith. Good afternoon. Have a seat, please. You are Mr. Sun? Thank you. Yes, I am Dunlin. I have read your resume. I know you have worked for three years. Why did you choose to major in mechanical engineering? Many factors led me to major in mechanical engineering. The most important factor is I like tinkering with machines. What are you primarily interested in about mechanical engineering? I like designing products, and one of my designs received an award. Moreover, I am familiar with CAD, but I can do any mechanic well if I am employed. Why did you decide to apply for this position? Your company has a very good reputation, and I am very interested in the field your company is in. What do you think determines an employee's progress in a company such as ours? 
interpersonal and technical skills. We have several applicants for this position. Why do you think you are the person we should choose? I have the abilities, qualities and experience that you requested in your job advert. For example, I have three years experience in designing products and I got leadership experience while serving the college student union as president. That sounds very good. How do you see your career development? After a few years of gaining experience in the company and furthering my professional qualifications, I'd like to put my experience and skills to use in management. I want to become a supervisor in your R&D department. Have you anything to ask about the job? Yes. Do you offer any opportunities for further study? Yes. If you undertake additional courses, provided these are approved, and you complete them successfully, you can claim back part, quite a large part, 75% of the costs you incurred. Not just the fees, traveling and other expenses too. That's fine. Anything else? No. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Sun. I'll let you know the result of the interview as soon as possible. Goodbye. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. I do hope the answer will be favorable. Goodbye. Okay. Now I'd like to find out more about your last job. I see you spent almost four years at the London Weekly, is that right? Yes, that's right. To be honest, the first year was quite tough for me. I was really just treated more like an intern. I didn't have many responsibilities and I found it quite frustrating. So, what changed? Well slowly but surely I proved myself, and the new editor liked me so he promoted me to features writer. Wow, a real step up. Yes, I was responsible for restaurant and food reviews mostly. I spent three years in that position, but to be honest it wasn't an area of journalism I wanted to stay in long term. I see. So why did you decide to leave finally? I just felt that the paper couldn't offer me any new opportunities. I really needed a more challenging role to be honest. We have successfully fulfilled our work plan. In fact, we are number one in terms of market share. You have gotten amazing success. Congratulations. I hope we can continue to get support from the departments concerned. Without a doubt, relevant department will try their best. Let's call it a day. It's nice to go home earlier once in a while. But now it's the evening rush. It's hard to commute a long way. Sure it is. I really hate to get caught in a traffic jam. Why are you leaving your present job? I'm not so satisfied with it. Why do you plan to change your job? I'm now a secretary in my present work unit. My work is not interesting. I have to type, make copies, book tickets and so on. Every day I follow the routine. Furthermore, I have studied English for four years at university, but I can't use it there. They are the reasons I plan to change my job. Why are you interested in working with this company? One of my relatives told me that your company needs someone who can speak English. That's just the job that I have been looking for. Is the room ready for the meeting, Miss Chen? Yes, Mr. Lee. How about the microphone and speakers? I also have done it. Good. Have you prepared some paper and pencils for the participants? 
Yes. They have been laid by their name cards on the meeting table for each attendant. Good morning, Mr. Montgomery. I've been sent over from purchasing to fill in for Claire Williams. Oh, really? Nice to meet you. I thought they were going to leave me here on my own. How long have you been with the company? Oh, about seven years. Time flies, you know. Does it ever? Well, let's get started. If you could begin typing this letter now, I'll see what else needs to be done. What is your long-term goal in this career? My long-term goal is to become an expert in this field. What would you do to achieve that? In order to achieve that objective, I would work step by step and make further study. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.